So as you guys can see, me and David are building something. We're gonna build a chicken coop. And we've already started. I should have started filming earlier, but I didn't. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna show you guys what we built so far. We had an old dog pen and we figured why not use it for a chicken coop for the fence. And then we built it inside. But before we moved the fence here, we had to clear all this dirt. So we're gonna use this fence to protect the chickens from you know outside predators and to protect our eggs. And you can see we had to you know dig up all the roots and everything in here, but it's a good area. We like it because it's away from our house, but it's next to our building right here, which isn't too far from electricity, and we can hook up heating lamps and all that inside. We made this wall like this because we're gonna put a door on this side and we're gonna have the coops down here for the chickens. And then inside will be another big area for them to just hang out in, like their main house. It holds me so far. <laughs> and this is the other side. So right here is gonna be where we have another door and it's gonna, you can lift it up to sweep all the dirt out. She likes it in there. You like it, Nugget? You like it, Nugget? Oh, mm, you look so cute. Go with Dad. Go hey, get him. Oh, no. What are you doing, Nugget? What are you doing, Nugget? You in the chicken coop? Are you in the chicken coop, Nugget? What are you doing in the chicken coop? You're not a chicken. You're not a chicken. You're a, you're a chicken hawk. You're a chicken hawk. Now, I just want to point out making these legs to this platform we use this right square to make sure it's at a 90 degree angle because if you don't then these legs can eventually cave in on you number one we bought all the wood so far that we're using for 150 dollars versus a 500 dollars chicken coop that you can buy with really thin cheap wood they'll fall apart easy <laughs> And um, number two, I wanted to tell you so far, this is our second day doing the project and we might finish it today. Do you think we'll finish it, babe? We only worked on it for like two hours yesterday. Yeah, we only worked on it for two hours, not a whole day yesterday. Today, we have a full day, so we should be able to complete it. We're gonna put a metal roof on. Instead of making it pointy, we're gonna make it slanted. And um, yeah, hopefully it comes out good. We're excited. Why don't you tell everyone why we're building this the way we are? Um, well, even though it's kind of a small pen, it's kind of a small coop, our chickens are going to be pretty much free range. So the pen is going to be to keep the eggs and the chickens protected at nighttime, you know, while they're sleeping and stuff like that. And it also keep them locked in at first to get them used to the land so they'll know that's where they need to be and that's their little home. Uh, so you don't really need that big of a chicken coop. They're only gonna use four or five different different uh, nests, roosting nests, to lay their eggs. Cause you know, they like to get cuddled up together in the nest and stuff. So you don't need like a whole array of nests for 15 or 20 chickens just need a small little house for them and four or five roosting nests would be would be good and like i said we're not making a big giant pen because they're not going to be locked in this pen they're just going to be in here at first temporarily while they're chicks they'll be locked in and then they'll be free range so we don't need that big of a pen and it's this pen right here is, is going to be really big for chicks anyways more than enough room for chicks. Measure twice, cut once. There you go. Does that wood feel good, Dad? Boy, Jack. 
Oh, you're such a good boy. Yeah, when you make a small little wall like this, you want to make sure it's square, but you know, it's real easy to just pull it a little bit. And then it'll be square like you need it to be. You gonna put it up now? Let's do it. Okay. What I was gonna do is, it's not like a real, it's not like a perfect science. It's not really what you're supposed to do. Um, but I was gonna put a couple of rafters across, flat, and then I was gonna um, just take a two by four and cut it in an angle from one end to the other. So to just come in an angle all the way down right here, and then I'll put my tin right on top of that so the water runs down. I mean, I could have cut all these boards in an angle, or we. We could even build a little A-frame roof on here if we wanted, but it's just easy and simple. Yeah, I was going to say, isn't little, it more complicated? You just cut a line down the two by four, Yeah. and you cut one by two by four and a half, and you got two pieces, because you're cutting it from corner to corner all the way down to two by four. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's for chickens. Yeah. As long as, the, like you said, <laughs> as, long, as long as the water runs off. As long as the water runs off, We're good. as long as they can stay warm in here and they can stay cool out of the sunshine, I'm uh when I go to the hardware store, I'm gonna see if they got some some insulation board, and I'm gonna put a piece of insulation board underneath the roof tin. Yeah. And that way, it keeps a little bit of the heat out in the summertime. This is a little shady little spot right here too, so it's not in direct sunlight. You can see those are like the dead vines right there, the pile of them. Some red pile. Here's another pile. Take it all the way to the edge and right to the top right here. So if I were to come in here, I would open this up. There's gonna be a little latch. It's gonna hold it. And then you see, it's pretty big. And we're gonna have boxes right here. You'll see. We have a metal roof right here. We've ha actually had it for a long time. Um, we had it in our woods just hanging out. Didn't touch it for a while. And um, you can get this from your local hardware store or Lowe's Hardware, whatever you have in your town. And it's not that much money. And what we're doing, we're going to cut it in half. We're going to overlap it tw uh, once for one section so it's not hanging off that much. And we should be good to go. It's five foot three. And the building is four foot wide. So that's a foot three inches so um seven and a half 
be hanging over seven and a half inches on each edge. Still. Is that a problem? No. That'll be okay? Yeah. Cool. Look how dirty this shit is. We need to wash it off with the water hose. We could put trim on the outside of the chicken coop door. Little trim. Yeah. We can do that. We got enough for that. Yeah. Give you guys a little tour of the inside. It's pretty spacious. David can stay here all the way. <laughs> <laughs> and he's pretty tall. We have a little area to hang out down here. And the coops. And then we're going to put branches up here. Yeah, we can do that too. Going across. Well, we need to put a. Uh, we need to get some pipes to make a feeder. Yeah. All right, babe, you got it going on. Mm -hmm. Got us a coat of primer. Almost finished. Make sure this thing lasts a long time, right, babe? Oh yeah. Give me an arm workout. Yeah. Baby, doing a good job here. She spilled the feed a couple of times, stepped on it, but that's okay. She's a good painter. Thanks, baby. Paintress. I don't know who that is. I think we'll finish this tomorrow after this paint dries, right? Yeah. So it takes four hours, but by that time it's going to be dark, so. Yeah. At Looking got, nice. At least we got this done, because this didn't take us that long. Good job, babe. Thank you. Hey you guys, ta-da, our finished product. I'm so excited. <laughs> we got five big chickens and they lay eggs. They lay like four a day. The kids are so happy and so appreciative that they get to come out here and get their fresh eggs every day. And they're really fluffy and really good. I love it. And um, you know, we got free ranging chickens right now. We got about 18 chicks and they'll be going in a bigger coop soon. We'll make another video about another chicken coop to come. As for right now, subscribe below and you will see more homesteading videos soon. Bye guys. <laughs>